Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how you should use fasting and food to help you raise your progesterone levels. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get the whole world fasting. I'm just gonna move beyond this million. We gotta get everybody fasting because every human body on this planet will benefit from fasting, all different types of fasting. So I'm really excited you're here. Hit the, the subscribe button and notification bell. Dive into all the videos I have here. And I'm just excited to share my passion and knowledge for fasting with you. Pioneer in the fast Do a long world. fast one day. Your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. Okay, so it's that time again. We are doing another reset. And the purpose of our resets is to take all of this information that you're learning here on YouTube and condense it down into a 15 day experience. So you can finally figure out what fast works best for you, what food works best. You can start to drop weight. We have coaching calls, we have workouts. It is quite the 15 day experience. But what we really wanna do with you is have this incredible 15 day experience with you and the Reset Academy community and get, hop on calls, coaching calls, where I'm infusing health philosophy into you and keeping you motivated to stay at your absolute best. So come join me in the next reset. You just got to put reset down in the comments and my team will send you a link for you to join. I'll see you in the reset. Okay, we're going to talk about progesterone specifically when it comes to fasting. Now, I, this is really probably more of a woman centric video because men, you guys don't make a lot of progesterone. You, the two hormones that are driving you are testosterone and estrogen. Women, we've got to keep these three hormones in balance, estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. And honestly, perimenopausal women, menopausal women, man, do we miss progesterone. Progesterone is that hormone that keeps us calm and it helps us relax, it prevents anxiety. So we wanna use fasting and food principles that we know to keep progesterone working at its best. The couple of the signs that you know progesterone is tanking is if you have your irregular cycles, if women, you're perimenopausal and you're spotting, if you have a lot of body anxiety that is unexplainable. I know for me on my menopausal path, it was really a, an issue of I just couldn't relax my body when I could feel te, uh, progesterone going low. So you learning these signs and symptoms are really helpful to know what your progesterone is doing. As far as fasting goes, progesterone doesn't like fasting. It does not want anything to any cortisol surges in your body. So what's really interesting about that is that if you've been an avid faster, going into a 13 hour fast may not raise your, your cortisol levels, which might make it okay for progesterone. So I usually say either no fasting or keep your fasting under 13 hours in order to nurture progesterone and keep progesterone from not tanking and allowing progesterone to come into the picture. So you wanna keep your fast low, so under 13 hours. The second part of this is that we are naturally more insulin resistant the week before our period starts. And there's a reason for that. Progesterone thrives when glucose is high. So you wanna keep glucose up, which is fabulous. So we need to lean into nature's carbs. And this is where we're gonna do more potatoes and squashes and fruits. I do have a list of those nature's carbs in the companion guide. So if you want a free companion guide, just put companion guide in the notes and my team will send you that. It's a beautifully done companion guide that will give you everything you need to know about these hormones and fasting and the foods. But when it comes to progesterone, we're keeping glucose up a little bit. We're lowering our fasts. And if you want a macro, I really like the macro of over a hundred net carbs. Those of you like, like to count macros, progesterone needs that hundred grams net carbs. So that's the skinny on progesterone. It really is about not raising cortisol. It is about keeping glucose a little higher. When just to recap the other videos with estrogen, estrogen likes insulin to be low. It likes your microbiome to be really diverse. Testosterone likes insulin low and your toxic load low. Progesterone wants insulin and glucose a little higher and it wants cortisol low. 
So you can see that there's a little bit of a dance here. We've got to play using these principles, which is why I keep coming to you guys here teaching this. And for this fast training week, what we're doing is one day of progesterone building where we're going over 100 grams of net carbs and we're leaning into those foods, still staying away from man-made processed carbs and doing shorter fasts. And you know, if you, as far as exercise goes, in order to improve progesterone, do more yoga, do more walking, do more hiking, slow down the week before your period, nurture yourself a little bit more and you will see progesterone shine. And once you dial in all these principles around a 30 day cycle, you'll be blown away at how well your, your hormones work. So let me know if you have been following these principles and it's worked for you, put it in the comments. Um, let me know if you did this fast training week with me. Um, and as always, I surely hope all this information is benefiting not only your mind, not only your health, but everybody's health around you. So grateful for you all. It's Fast Training Week, so if you want to win a free box of Element, they sponsor our Fast Training Weeks. So all you've got to do is get the companion guide, put companion guide in your comments, and all the information is in there for you to win a free box of Element. Element absolutely is like a faster's gift. It will help you get through those longer fasts with ease and grace. So enjoy, super grateful for this product.